played out on the Melton cabin and come up on the Doula cabin. Mama, what you doing? You taking a breather? Just waiting. Wait? What do you mean? Laura, come back. Laura? I'm pregnant. Oh, God, Tom, I'm pregnant. Please, I'm not trying to trap you. I just, just don't know what to do. Are you sure? not your fault. I'm, I'm the one who did it. Of course, we've got to get married. So. I mean, I'll, I'll do the right thing by you. I, I won't let you alone. I promise. I know you don't love me, but I'll be a good wife. I'll make you happy. I'll make you happy. Okay, well, we have to find, we have to find a preacher. That's, that's the first thing. Meet me tomorrow morning uh, up at the old Bates place by that, that, that stand of elms that we're going to look for from there. I promise I'll love you forever. Tomorrow morning, sun, sunrise. Okay, now, I've got to, uh, I'm sorry, tomorrow. The scene changes to Will Foster's porch, where both Will and Bobby are waiting. Young lady, where have you been? Did you hear me? At least you're okay. <coughs> you're worried sick. Fine. I'm fine. Just went over Mary Doula's and sort of forgot the towel. Just scared us. Should have let me know. I could have come got you. If you excuse me, I think I'm going out to my room. I'm kind of tired. I need to talk to you. Some other time, Bobby, please. I don't think this will wait till some other time. So just set yourself down like you're supposed to, and I'll go make myself scarce. Laura? Bobby, I don't. Can't this no, wait until... No, I've been waiting all day. Life. No, I can't. Laura, will you marry me? Well, I mean, if you need time to think about it, I, I can understand. But I love you, and honest, I'll try to make you happy, and you're crying. I didn't mean to upset you, I just wanted to say I loved you. I thank you. Then you will. I wish I could. I'll make you happy, I promise. I can't marry you. I'm going to have a baby, and it should never have happened, but it did, and now I've got Wait. to. Don't matter. It never should have happened, but tomorrow I'll be his wife. There's nothing nobody can do about it now. No. Wait. You don't have to marry him. I'll, I'll, I'll still marry you. I don't care about the baby. I'll love it too. And we, we can say it's ours. I won't tell. I promise. You're the only girl I've ever loved. Daddy was right. I should have married you when I had the chance. Go home, Bobby. I don't think I can face you any longer. But I can make Please just go home. Back at the Melton farm, nighttime has fallen. Who's there? It's me, Pearlie. What are you doing here? I gotta see Anne. You all right? I'll get her. Don't come in. He's to home. I'm almost packed. I love you, Tom. Foster. But why? I 
love you. She's having my baby. No! I want to have your baby. I've, I've got to. I'm meeting her tomorrow morning at the old babe's place to find the preacher. Let me talk to her. Please. Maybe we can work something out. I'll take the baby. We can go away, the three of us. Oh, God. Tom, I love you. Please don't do this to me. Why did we have to meet now? At all the wrong times. The lights dim. The stage is dark. Mary stands by the tree near her cabin, forests surrounding her. They're only interested in swatching down a question. They're only interested in swinging the 
Thomas C. Dula, you have been found guilty of the murder of Lord Foster. It is therefore the decision of this court that on Friday, the first day of September, September, this the year of our Lord, 1868, you be taken forthwith and hanged until death. And may God have mercy on your unworthy soul.